This video is brought to you by Triple Sleeve TCG. Check out their website at triplesleevetcg.com. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Gabe here with another green color deck profile. And, um, full disclosure, this is the least favorite deck that I've built. Uh, I am not super into it. I don't hate it. I don't love it. Hopefully, DBTO2 saves us because. My god, are Zorga and Barrow Magnus more fun than this? But regardless of that, we got Magnolia, which is at the end of the battle that she attacks. You can counterblast one to give a card in the back row to give a rearguard 5k. Then if it's in the back row, it can, atta it can attack from the back row, as multi-attacking is free. But if you Persona Road, you can choose your entire back row instead. So if you Persona Ride, you can effectively get six attacks in a turn, which is neat. Um, the deck's problem is it really does not hit amazing numbers, so if you get, if opponent gets a damage trigger, you are kind of shut down, which is unfortunate. Moving on, rest of the ride deck is Sylvan Horn Beast Lettuce, and when it's ridden upon by Magnolia, you can Soul Charge 1, uh, re reveal the top deck, if it's a unit, call it, if it's an order, add it to your hand, and when it attacks from the back row, when it attacks Van from the back row, you can Soul Blast 1 to give it 10k, making it a good target for Magnolia skill, because it's a 25k beater. Uh, Karis, similar to Magnolia, when you ride Lettuce upon it, you can check the top. If it's grade 2 or lower, call it. If it's grade 3 or an order, you put it into your soul. Um, really wish you could also put it into your hand, because Soul Charging Magnolia is big, unfortunate. And when it attacks from the back row, it gets just a free 5k, so it's an 18k beater, which is pretty good. And the starter is Sylvan Horn Beast Lot. Nothing to talk about there. Uh, grade 3 is running 3 copies of Magnolia, because again, the entire her effect based around Persona Riding, you want to Persona Ride multiple times. And that's it for the grade 3s, because everything is grade 2s just to hit fast, hard, and quickly. Only running 2 copies in the main deck of Lettuce, just because uh, its ability is good, but there are alternatives, and the deck kind of eats soul quickly, so having multiple on isn't amazing, but it's a 25k beater when you use its skill, which is good. Next, 4 copies of... Gion's Law, when it attacks from the back row, counterblast one to give another card its power. So, while it doesn't hit the same number that Lattice does, you can give, it would be 15 because of Magnolia, you can give a card 15k, which really helps with numbers, but also if you jack up Gion's Law's power with another effect or with a trigger, you could potentially give another card 20 to 30k. So, it kind of winds up being a bit more powerful than Lattice because Lattice gets a total of 10k and the card that Gion's Laws would give power to would get at least 15. So, I love it. Really funny if you drive check and over trigger and give the hundo mill to him. Next is four copies of Elenia. I'm not running the grade one order because, well, this takes a counter blast. This is also a body on the field, which is very important for Magnolia. But it's a on place from hand, which is important because of Lattice and uh, Karis. Counter blast one, soul blast one to call a grade two or less from drop and give it 5k. There's a couple cards that are worth calling off of this, so that's cool. Uh, it's more resources, but it costs a counter blast and a soul blast. So if we could get a card that moves to soul and counter charges Bushi, that'd be cool. Three copies of Duger. If you have a full board, it gets 5k. It's just free power, which is not bad, and the deck definitely needs it. Running two copies of Ghost Chase. If I cut something, this will probably be it. Um, it's a blitz order, and so you can give a card when you guard 5k, and you can also choose a rear guard that isn't being attacked and bounce it. So, this is good for reactivating on-call abilities, uh, getting rid of things that you don't want your opponent to attack or retire with a, a battle phase effect like the start deck Virena, 
Or if you call up like a PG with the Karis and Lattice ride deck ability, you could just bounce the PG, which is always really funny. And lastly is one copy of Sylvan Horn Beast Aglio. Retire itself to give two cards 5k. It just helps things become slightly bigger. Grade ones, it's going to be three copies of Karis because, well, it is weaker than Lattice. It is freer than Lattice, so it's worth running it in the main deck. Also, it boosts if your opponent gets a damage trigger to help get over those numbers. Four copies of Planar Prevent, the DPG that lets you make it free if you have two or less in hand. Or if you're, oh, it's two or, oh, whoopsie, never mind. I've been using these things wrong, Lamau. Um, and lastly is four copies of Conspiring Mutant and Mantis. So, this is funny because it's on place, give a card 5k, great for Gion's luck, great for, um, helping just things become better in general. It's a good target for Ghost Chase because you could just reuse the 5k bonus, which is nice. And on to Triggers. We're running four copies of the draw because you want your resources and you don't actually have any draw effects, just the ride deck um, calling stuff. Four heals, it's a heal trigger in Vanguard. One copy of Bless Favor, it's an over trigger in Vanguard. Four copies of the crit, it's a critical in Vanguard. And this is probably the, the most contentious part of the deck profile, is I am running front triggers. The reason is because the deck, as I said, kind of has an issue with hitting numbers, especially if you don't Persona Ride. And even if you do Persona Ride, nothing, you're not boosting because you're going to want to make back attacks. So that one just helps your front row get over things in a way that the deck kind of needs. Because while crits do win games, the issue thereupon is if you're that they give your opponent two chances to damage check a trigger as opposed to one, and if they get two damage triggers, congratulations, your turn basically just ended. So I do like fronts in this deck, and I'm quite tempted to keep them. But again, this deck is the one that, like, I'm having the hardest time coming up with a, a permanent list for, so this might change. It also might not, because, again, I doubt how much I could change this deck would make me have fun with it, or at least more fun compared to Zorga and Barrow Magnes. But, you know, it's a deck. It's the start deck for D-Series, so it's going to get support at least for the next couple sets, so that'll be fun. The Triple R's for D-Series set 2 are looking quite good, so yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and see you next time.